Like about my cat Chuck here. Since it's the last month of the Pokemon month, yeah, I had to reschedule. Oh, all it, but yeah. So, anyways, for the last Pokemon month video, I figured why not come back to re-reviewing Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. Now, when I first reviewed this Pokemon X and Y, I was harsh on these games on X and Y, mostly because I found it was too easy, There's l there was like less new Pokemon, on that the team members were eh, but taking a look back and playing Pokemon X and Y again, I see that it's a pretty good game. I can see why people, why some people would make this their favorite generation. Well, yeah, some people. But anyways, is let's first talk about the region. The region is actually a all right. Nothing too bad to complain about. Some people might say it's short, but. At least it's not too much water. <laughs> I think it's a pretty alright region. Next, the Pokemon. Yeah, I have been meaning to talk about the Pokemon. There's less Pokemon. Hell, there's less than an Alola's number of Pokemon, but. Eh, some of the Pokemon are pretty good. Like, the Skidoo Lion. Um, Clef Key, e, uh, Skrell Blind, and, and my favorite starter, Urchid, who's this Fennekin. And yeah, I know a lot of people either go for like Chespin or, or Froki, mostly because of Greninja uh, or Chestnut. But really, though, we all know that. Most people choose Froakie. But I honestly go for Fagin. Because Delph Lux is awesome. But, anyways, is it introduced. Pokemon X and Y introduced something that, even though the developers started to regret. And I'm not saying that this is a lie. I think this is honestly true. That's what I remember. But. Is Mega Evolution bad? Honestly, no. Like, it gives some Pokemon on who, like, aren't overpowered, like, the boost they need. I know of Pokemon who are already overpowered, or already powered, they gave Mega Evolution, like Mewtwo, and, and then Auras, like, were quit. Rayquaza, uh, but yeah, and I could see why like they gave the Kanto starters as Mega Evolutions. Like I understood why the Kanto starters were in the game. But anyways, is yeah, is Mega Evolution a bad thing? Um, no. Oh, I don't think so. I uh, damn it, I'm getting off topic. Anyways, what's the characters like? Well, I can't really say I like some of the characters. Like, your friends. I really, really, like, think they're too off. When they make you, your adventure, like, off track and everything. Um, other characters I really don't mind. Like, Professional... Sandre, like, he's one of my favorite professors. That's right. He, I, he out favors Professor Oak. The most beloved Pokemon professor. Um. Let's see. Team Flare, I just don't get, like. Like, they're alright, but. Game Freak could have done some um, different ideas to make Team Flare better. But I mean, at least they're better than Team Flare.
Team Skull because they don't partner up with with another like uh, sorry I'm getting off topic again anyways the gym leaders what are the gym leaders like well you have to face through a bug type a rock type a fighting type a, a grass type a electric type Who's the other fairy type, ice type, psychic type? Now I know I didn't do all those in order, I'm just making sure I said all eight. Am I forgetting another type of gym leader? No, I think I. I think I said all of them. But, anyways. And the Elite Four? Well, you have to face through water, dragon, fire, and steel. And, well, it's an alright idea for an Elite Four. I mean, and for my idea, we could have probably done more with this than, than this. I mean, dragon steel type, sure, or they'd be fun in for Elite Four, but. I don't know, water and fire, that, I don't know. The music in the game, it's honestly pretty good. It, and I ignored, or that fact about, of the music, like in the game, but, oh well. So, hmm. Is there any more to talk about? Well, I think there actually is one more thing to talk about. And it's probably going to be a long one. On why I harshed on this game. And that it was actually wrong of me. Yeah, I'm admitting that I was wrong to harsh Pokemon X and Y. Now, the reason I harshed this game was, for one, and I was, like, upset of the roster of Pokemon of like the Kalos variant Pokemon like there's less yes but now I look at it like it's alright at least it's not like 10 or or 20 yeah, I mean Game Freak wouldn't make that low of a roster and looking at some of the Pokemon they're pretty good and some there's still others that are, are just like eh The other thing I complained about was that the game felt like it was, like, easy, or too easy. But honestly, it's okay for a challenge. I mean, I, I mean, when I replayed it, I did die, like, once on, on the Sandre. <coughs> A, like battling him for the first time but um but yeah I remember when I played it it felt like it was too easy but looking back it's actually like okay I mean it's it's not like easier than Sun and Moon yeah I said it that game feels easy but I still enjoy that one too um I remember I was also complaining. I know I didn't complain about this in my older view of X and Y, but I remember I was complaining about like the region being too short. Ooh. Well, I don't really see it as short anymore. I think it's like I think that it's okay for. Or like a regional size. I mean, I can't think of a region smaller than Kalos. I mean, probably except for the Alola region. But um, hmm. Well, 
<laughs> yeah, I can't really. But yeah, still, that was one of the main things I was complaining about in X and Y. And I was being too harsh on the region, the roster of Pokemon, on its level of challenge. Although it's not. Although I'm still gonna say it's not a hard game, but. Eh, uh, not something to complain about. What else did I. Oh, yeah. I hope. Oh, yeah, Team Flare. I still kind of stick by that they're. Eh, for. Uh, for team members, but at least they're. better than Team Skull. I would say that they're better than Team Rocket, but. Eh. I don't know. I'm probably on the same level of. I don't know whether they're good or bad. And, but. Yeah. Um. What else did I complain about before? In my old review. Um. I think one of my other main problems was, like, there was too much other regional poetry. Instead of, of like, Kalos variants. But honestly, that I don't really kind of see that as a problem anymore. Because, as, hey, there might be some of your favorite Pokemon in this game. <laughs> Sorry, I still will have a stuffy nose, but I'm better. But, I'm, I mean, I'm feeling better. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, hey. I feel like there's one more thing I can. Oh wait, yeah. In my old review, I was complaining about Mega. I think I was complaining about Mega Evolutions because, like, I felt like Mega Evolutions were making the game like too easy. But honestly, I think Mega Evolutions like are fine. Whether like, if you need like a last resort. Or, like, competitive if battles against other trainers. Sad to say that, that Mega Evolutions won't come back to Sword and Shield. It doesn't really bother me about that. But anyways, yeah, that was one of the other things I was complaining about. That Mega Evolutions were making the game too easy. But, honestly, Mega Evolutions are pretty good. Yeah, there's there was a lot of things I complained about uh, in my old review that made me think that the game was bad, and I let myself thought that this game was bad. I was like, when I hated, when I like didn't like this game, and I remember seeing like still seeing some. Um, reviews like IGN giving this game like a 9 out of 10 or was it 9.5 out of 10 either way I was like why this game is easy but looking back now I can honestly see why they would give this a 9 out of 10 because like it's variety of Pokemon isn't too bad the region is actually pretty good, and yeah. So, now that I've talked about everything about X and Y, let's go over or what we've talked about. Good music, a somewhat good variety of Pokemon. I'm from the Kalos region, and a great number amount of other regional Pokemon. And some great Mega Evolutions eh, characters There's things I shouldn't have complained about because this game is actually pretty good I don't know why I was complaining about this game so overall like IGN I'm going to give this game a 9 out of 10 but instead I'm actually going to give it a 9.3 out of 10 Yeah, I know it's odd. I know people who would do reviews would usually give this one like a 7 or an 8 or possibly like a 6.9 out of 10. But honestly, I could see like why IGN would, would have given this game like a 9 out of 10. And 
I honestly regret, like, saying that this was bad because it's pretty good. I'm like a Rock Hedgehog. Thank you all for watching Pokemon Month, and Pokemon X and Y is a pretty good.